damn like. You can find my work online at flutterby.net. One of the objections I often hear when I propose to people that they can have a table saw free workshop by using the Festool Track Saw is that it's hard to do thin rip uh, cuts. I'm going to show you today how I do thin rip cuts. In order to do thin rips for applications like edge banding or inlays, I built this little jig. It takes a rail, it has an L-shaped piece of wood, which has a backstop here, and a couple of grooves to hold these knobs, and an extend out here. And this was originally a little bit longer, and I laid the rail on right there, and ran the saw down this, so that this distance is exactly that of the rail. That lets me do some really cool things for spacing and figuring out how thick I'm going to cut my strips. So in this case, I've got a 332nd inch router bit, and I want to cut some narrow slots and put some uh, hard maple inlay into it. So I need some 332nd inch thick inlay. Take these hooks, place them in to hold the rail good and hard against the uh, against the fence. Use my venerable old C12 to run these, uh, run the hooks in good and hard. We set the thickness of the piece that we want to cut. And we do this by simply adjusting the fence to the thickness of the router bit. stock. Side's a little bit scorched. I could keep, clearly use a fresh blade on that saw, but if we uh, drop the calipers on this, we can indeed see that we came out to 330 seconds. And that's my simple rip jig. You can find more at flutterby.net slash festool underscore rip underscore jig.